Guess what time it is, guys? It's re time. <laughs> it's re time. Is that a, is that a, yeah, we can do that. Re time. Uh, my name is Dave. This is Seaton Gaines. Thank you for taking a few moments out of your day just to check out the channel if you're new. And, uh, and, and if you're not new, thank you for tuning back in. Uh, yeah, man, it's, it's been a busy week this week, hasn't it? That, that, that's not, uh, it's not even been a good week, though. <laughs> it's been a busy week, but it ain't been a good week. Uh, down here below. I do it in all my videos, but I just love to, for some of those, some of you don't watch all my videos, so there you go. The uh, markets were pulverized again this week. Uh, no good news in the markets, that's for sure. Uh, and we'll just we'll just glance over really quickly, man, and just uh, check out the greed and fear index. Uh, it's it's 24. It's extreme fear, which we know. And the VIX was uh, actually hitting the 30s. I think it hit 32 plus. And what it dropped back down to 29.92%. So that's the VIX and the greed index. So we know there's a lot of fear in the markets. And it's obvious that everybody's selling off like crazy. Uh, but I, I said it in the other videos, I'm going to say it again. I, I don't look at it as a bad thing. Uh, I look at it as an opportunity to buy more. Buy stuff at lower prices. Uh, I wouldn't go head first. I, I think I said it in the other video as well and just load up at this point because I don't I don't know if we're done I really don't know if we're done going down uh, But uh, I'm slow. I'm, I am buying on the way down as always uh, So the REIT video uh, this REIT portfolio is I've kind of critiqued it back to ten dollars per REIT Because I've got other focuses. I'm also working on at the same time and I only have so much money man I'm not rich by no means, uh, you know, I'm a working man just like most of you and Started late in life and um, just trying to to make some money for a retirement. Uh, you know, and that's that's where I am. Uh, you know, I got eight years, hopefully, ten years at worst case scenario. Uh, for those that don't know, all right. So let's take a look at the REIT portfolio, and you're going to see that store is uh, highlighted in gray. Uh, store is is being bought out, so I stopped buying. But I got plenty of others. I got nine others. Uh, I'm really upset about losing store. I like store. Um, but uh, yeah, we still have the other nine. So let's take a look at what, uh, you know, in the first section here. This is week 18. Uh, it was $10. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm probably, everybody's like, don't say it, man. Don't say it. You've been saying it all the time. I'm getting tired of hearing it. Uh, there's my share cost at purchase. That's how much I paid for that uh, little bit of share that you see in the next slot. Uh, that was the share cost, and that's what that $10 bought in each one of those in the share purchased. Uh, then you got your total shares. That's how much I've accumulated over the last 18 weeks. And in the in the beginning, uh, when I started this portfolio, I was hitting it pretty hard with like 25 a week per share, you know, per ETF. Uh, I keep saying ETF because I do two videos on ETFs per REIT. And, uh, and then I think I even hit it with a $50 or $100 one week, so I bumped it up pretty quickly. But right now, at this point... I'm just going to kind of uh, $10 it a week uh, for each one of these REITs uh, over the next couple weeks. I may go up. I don't know. I just have to see how it plays out. Um, but there is my total shares, my cost basis per share, and then you can see my portfolio value. And it, 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 did a, it, it took a significant hit this week, uh, just like everybody else's stuff did. Uh, last week, I was at $4,216.11. This week I'm at four thousand seventeen dollars and eleven cents. That's pretty odd that it's exactly eleven cents, um, but uh, that is down one hundred ninety nine dollars from last week. Uh, you can see my growth percentage. Still have well, store is going to be green, uh, but uh, the only one that actually physically stayed in green because of uh, just because of what it is is OHI at a positive point zero nine percent which is still hanging on by 38 cents positive, <laughs> the whole 38 cents. Um, so yeah, I'm not really counting store because of everybody buying it up with the hopes of uh, making money on the, uh, when they when they uh, buy you out, that basically is, is the, what, what'll happen. Uh, you got your uh, paid dividend. That's how much I've been paid so far. It's a whopping $34.85. But you gotta remember, I'm only 18 weeks in. Um, a price appreciation. I can't do the eyebrow on this one, guys. I can't do the eyebrow there because there is some green in there. Uh, and uh, lastly, you got your price at close. That's what it was on Friday at the end of the market week. So there you go. 
So I'm still above 4,000 now. I was really sweating. I really thought I was going to be under 4,000. <laughs> I thought it would be back down in the 3,000 range after the past week, but it stayed above, which is kind of exciting. It stayed above. Yes. All right. Next, uh, this is where uh, we will jump over to Dave. I was going to say this is the X dividends, but we got to go to Dave first. Let him do his spiel uh, on this stuff, and uh, and then he'll get back to me, and we'll finish this up. It's all yours, Dave. Well, thank you, Dave. Appreciate it as always, man. How you all doing? It's the second Dave, ready to jump into the charts and see how everything's been performing over the last five years, and let you guys see. So here we go. Oh, in the last five days, we have IPP, IIPR, not IPPR, <laughs> at a positive 0.67% was the best performer in the last five days. Worst performer is CIM at a negative 16.43%. That's, 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 that's not good. Uh, six months, let's see, we have the best performer is Vici at 13.74% positive. Worst performer now is IIPR at a negative 53.1%. Year to date, LTC now takes that best performer slot at a positive 12.8%. And the worst performer again is IIPR at a negative 64.98%. One year out, uh, LTC holds on to that position as the best performer at 17.77% uh, positive. And IIPR holds the uh, last place position uh, in the uh, worst performer at uh, negative 62.53%. Uh, let's jump out three years, and we have a little bit of difference now, finally. Land is the best performer at positive 60%, 60.55% to be exact. And uh, MAC is the, uh, the, the worst performer at a whopping 75.76%. And uh, lastly... The, in the five year, it will be IIPR now is the best performer, and it has a, it, it's killing it by 409.8%, with uh, MAC again as the worst performer at a negative 85.11%. You got your 52 week low, 52 week high, and your estimated dividend and yield, they're the ones that it would show. Then you got your um, 365 day um, trend line there. And all the way at the bottom is VNQ as a comparable. So you guys can see how that has performed against uh, any of the REITs that you want to compare it to over uh, over this uh, this chart. So um, if you need to look at this a little bit longer, please feel free to pause or back up or whatever it is you need to do because we're going to go ahead and look at the yields. This is something I like to just let scroll for you guys uh, so you guys can see all this. And uh, as I'm talking, it's already scrolling. You know me, I have to kill a couple seconds here. And you know me, I can talk, man. I'll just keep on rambling. And uh, But, uh, yeah, we. Uh, I think uh, the, the one that got this week was somebody asked me about my opinion on SLG, if I remember correctly. And, and I stated in the other video about people asking me about my opinions. And, uh, and I mean this in the nicest of ways, but I don't. I don't like really giving my opinions on uh, things because I, I, you know, let's say you buy something after I said, oh yeah, it's great, and then it goes down, you lose money, and then you know, and you're you 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 told me it was good, <laughs> so uh, I, I don't uh, I don't try not to get into uh, recommending. There's a lot of videos out there that'll tell you hey, you need to buy this and buy that. You won't find that on this channel, and uh, because I just don't feel that that's my place. Uh, I love doing comp you know, comparisons, real live comparisons, and just showing you guys the information. You guys can take take the information and, and do with you, what you will with it, and, uh, and and move forward that way. Because I'm not I'm not influencing any of that. It's the actual the actions of the ETFs or stocks that I'm, I'm you know putting in these comparisons. But for for me, I, I just I don't I don't I'll tell you which ones I like. And obviously, SL, uh, I mean, SLG was, it was an option for me when I picked the 10 that I picked, uh, but uh, I did not choose that one. Uh, nothing against it. It just wasn't one that uh, I felt was, um, and see here, I'm giving my opinion. I don't want to. Uh, but I, I picked others. Let's put it that way. So there you go, guys. Uh, I, I know I've, I'm getting a lot of questions on that, on different ones. I know somebody asked me about CLM, uh, which isn't a read, but... Uh, Again, I don't. I really don't like to give my opinions, and I hope you guys understand, uh, because it's just I don't feel like that's my place. Okay, uh, and then and on that note, I guess I'll turn it back over to Dave and let him finish out the video. Thank you, guys. It's all yours, Dave. Well, I thank you, Dave. I appreciate it, man. You are the man. Uh, hey, I'm sorry I had to cut you out of the uh, out of the uh, covered call video, buddy. I really am. I hate cutting you out of the videos, but we were 
pressed for time. And if you guys watched the re video, you'd know why. Um, anyway, let's jump into the ex dividend dates and see what we got coming up on the nine. Now, again, uh, I'm going to keep store on there until it is no longer. Um, uh, what is it? The word I'm looking for. You can no longer buy it. Uh, it'll stay in the history though, as far as the dividends and so on and so forth. But for this, you know, once they take, once I can't buy it anymore and it's gone. Uh, it's gone private, I guess I should say. It, it'll, it won't be on this chart anymore, though. Uh, what we got coming up, the only thing that's coming up is 9.30 uh, and 9.29. We have O, Realty Income, and STAG, uh, next dividend dates. Everything else is already passed at the moment. And uh, the pay dates, we got a few coming up, though. We have IRM on the uh, 4th of October. We got LAND on the 30th of September. O on the 14th of October. Uh, PLD, uh, or Lodges on the 30th of September, a stag 17th of October, and we got the 6th of October, it will be Vici. Uh, so there you go. If you guys need to see this chart a little longer, please feel free to go ahead and pause that, like Dave always says. And uh, I'm going to move on into the snowball chart. Yeah. Take a look at it. I don't think there was any dividends this week, though. Uh, we did have dividends this month. We just didn't have any this week. But uh, so we can just keep, you know, keep up with it. Uh, the only ones that paid so far this month in the month of September, and I've highlighted it in gray so you guys can see that much easier, would be Realty Income. They paid $1.43. And then we had Stag. They paid $1.46. Uh, so we had a, a whopping grand total of $2.89 so far this month. Uh, and it's all the way down there at the bottom again. You can see the repeat of $34.85. So that is that. Anybody getting close to, yeah, we already, no. I was looking to see if we had any of them close to going over a share already, but no, we don't, we do not. <laughs> uh, the closest one would be OHI at the moment with a, uh, it has bought 0.213 of itself so far. So no, nobody has bought, no, I'm sorry, Arbor bought the most with a 0.604 of itself. So by next dividend on Arbor, it should go over one share, obviously, because it's already at six, so it should go over a share. Uh, I love keeping track of the shares as well, so we can see how many shares it's bought of itself. That's what this whole chart's about. Not just about the dividend, it's about how many shares it's bought of itself from the drip or the reinvestment, whatever you guys want to call it, and how much you're gotten paid over that course in time. Um, so, leaderboard. This is the leaderboard. Um, Let's go straight on down. It's OHI in first place, Vici, WPC, IRM, Stag, Realty Income, PLD, Arbor, Land, and the last one is no longer in there, which was Store, so we're not going to incorporate that one anymore, so that last lot will always be an X. So uh, moving forward, you'll see an X in the last place slot. Uh, and then you guys can see over the last 18 weeks who has been in first place the most. And really, it's kind of been a back and forth between OHI and Vici. I think those two have dominated the first place slot the most. See, OHI has got, what, one, two, three, four, five of the 18 weeks, and Vici has one, two, three, four, five, six, six of the 18 weeks. So between the two of them, they have 11 of the weeks, if I counted that right. Uh, so 11 of the 18 weeks. So those two have dominated. Last place slot would be, looks like to me, it's Land and Arbor. Well, no, Arbor's had it three week, four weeks. IRM's had it three weeks. So it looks like Land and Arbor for four weeks each. And actually OHI was down in last place slot in the first two weeks, as, as you can see. And one of my favorite times now in this video is the very last thing that we do. And that is the benchmark, which is what uh, you guys kept asking me for. And this is off of a program that I'm, 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 evaluate, I'm using now and I'm evaluating and I'm discussing with uh, the people that uh, wrote this program uh, about doing an affiliation. Uh, so, uh, and again, this is, I've said it in the other video, I, I used this over the last, I don't know, I guess it's been at least a month. And I... From, uh, I don't I don't lie, you guys know that. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I truly, truly like this program. I think some of you will as well. Um, it, 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 and you're going to start seeing more of those um, uh, charts in the videos and probably less of mine because it does the same thing. Actually, it does way more than what I do. 
uh, but it does the same things I do. I just got to figure out how I'm going to do it and, 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 and figure out the orders and all that kind of stuff and work with it a little bit more. But I really love this program. But here's the one chart. It's the benchmark. And uh, right now, as of today, uh, with the portfolio is ahead of the S&P, not by much, $58.51. So it's a 1.64%. So my portfolio is doing slightly better uh, these 10 reads are doing slightly better than the S&P 500. So out of my three videos I, uh, I do on YouTube, uh, the uh, di dividend ETF uh, comparison that I do with the six uh, is actually significantly, I wouldn't say significantly, that's, I guess it's, it's a little strong, it's doing much better than um, the S&P 500 in that portfolio. This is doing better slightly. And then the cover call, which if you guys know anything about cover calls, is really it's not meant to beat the S&P 500. Uh, is not beating the S&P 500. But I did check the one month on that one, and it was beating the S&P 500 in the last month. Just overall, it hasn't. It's not beating it, and I don't expect it to. It's not you know, something. But I put it in there in that video as well, just so you guys can see how that's all performing. I like doing this benchmark thing. It's it's actually interesting. I would love. But it would take a lot of time, but uh, to put all my portfolios from all of my different accounts and put it in one of these and just build it, and to see how my my overall portfolio has done against the S and P 500. My you know if you use Fidelity, it tells you for those each one of those accounts you have in there. But I have other accounts as well, like M1. Uh, this is an M1, but I do have an M1 and others that I uh, would love to just know how I'm doing against the S and P 500 amongst all of them. But man, you're talking about some serious time. Anyway, I'm rambling. I, I have a tendency to do that. I'm sorry, guys. I just do. I, I like to talk. Uh, so that finishes out this video. Uh, I'm really excited to see that I'm still ahead, barely. Uh, so that's exciting. And um, anyway, let's get into the part where I have to ask for you guys to smash. Oh, yeah. Smash that like button. Demolish it. Cremate it. Bust it up. Break it. Tap it. Love it. Bump it. You know what to do with it, man. I, I can I can, I can come up with a bunch of different scenarios that you could do with that, that like button. But if you did like the video and you stuck it out this far, yeah, think about it, man. I really, truly appreciate it. A lot of work goes in these videos. Uh, most of you guys that don't do these things probably don't realize how much time goes <laughs> actually goes into these videos. Um, and uh, if you're new, think about subscribing. I like to have a little fun. I'm not your typical channel, and uh, I like to goof off a lot, as you can tell. Uh, actually, the last two weeks have been a little more dry. I haven't really goofed off as much as I like to. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I like to have a little fun. So, and if, you're, if you've been watching for a while, what are you waiting for, man? What are you waiting for? Just, just, just subscribe. If you've been watching, you, you're going to watch anyway, right? You're, you're just going to keep watching. So you might as well subscribe. It helps me out. It helps, you know. And lastly, man, down here below, guys and gals. Got to say gals. There's some gals watching, and I appreciate that. Uh, we have some links down below. We have the uh, M1 portfolio, uh, M1 brokerage. I'll get it out, man. I'm very tired. I've been up since 1 o'clock in the morning. I've done three videos at a birthday party today, and I'm honestly, I am. I'm really beat. Uh, so we have the M1. If you want to open up an M1 account, I got a link down there. You get $10, I get $10, and uh, I think you got to fund it with 100 and that's an extra ten dollars you can put into a, an investment. Uh, and then lastly, we got the uh, Gemini down there. If you guys are interested in crypto, I know most of you probably aren't, but uh, that's actually a good question. How many of you guys invest in crypto anyway? That'd be nice to know. Just to, just yeah, throw me down. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd love to know just to see how many of you guys are uh, and gals are investing in crypto. So yeah, Gemini down there. That's who I use. Again, I think it's ten dollars in Bitcoin if I remember correctly. Uh, you, we both get it once you fund it, and, and uh, I think you gotta make a buy or something like that. I got, I really gotta look it up. I'm a little behind on that. Anyway, I'll stop talking because I'll talk forever. Uh, I really, truly appreciate you guys as always for tuning in, and uh, I guess I will see you guys next week right back here, having fun with investing, even though the markets are down. Don't let it get you down, man. Don't. I mean, I know some of you are maybe right on the verge of retirement. I can truly understand why you would be upset. But for those that aren't, think of it as an opportunity. Life's way too short to be worried about everything all the time. So enjoy your life, man. I mean it. And I'll see you guys next week.